Hello everyone, Pally Time here, and in today's video I'm going to try my best to sum up my experience with the Phase 2 and Phase 3 of the River of Souls. And I'm doing this just in case anyone missed the event or would like to see it from a different perspective. Uh, it was certainly interesting. Uh, first of all, it was supposed to happen at 3 p.m. Uh, it ended up happening on my server around 5... What's the end game time say? Started about 5.20. And uh, what the plan for my server was, at least, I don't know if other servers were doing this, but we were actually pretty organized about the whole thing. We decided to put at least one raid of level 50, so at least 20 level 50s in each zone. And this was all organized through the chat channel. Like, this was no, uh, like, pre-organized thing. It was on the fly, hey, we need 50s in every zone. And you did not want to be by yourself in this because uh, there were so many Defiant, and uh, of course I play on a PvP server, uh, and uh, ridiculous. Uh, I'm on the first boss right now. I decided to go to Iron Pine for um, the zone event. Uh, the raid happened in each zone, obviously, as I said, and in Iron Pine we had three bosses. Uh, unfortunately, I can't see the names right as I'm editing, so, I uh, can't tell you what those are. But, basically this first boss, I didn't understand the mechanics at all. Like, I still don't understand the mechanics. I just kept dying. Just ran in and died. Ran in and died. Oh, I'm probably about to die again. I'm starting to lose health for some reason. At first, I thought maybe it was a frontal cone AoE, so I stood behind the boss. And then I thought, well, maybe it's a damage shield, so I was keeping my eyes on the buffs. And then I just run away and die. <laughs> so... I had no idea what was going on, and here I am trying to look at my combat log, and it's not telling me anything good at all. And throughout this whole process, my good friend Wolf Doctor was actually stuck in queue because he decided to log out before this. Usually, my server is on a um, on a high. It's it's listed as high during prime time and medium population uh, during the whole day. But man, this event started, and everyone just came out. And there I die again. <laughs> And everyone just came out of the woodwork and uh, and showed up. So I'm going to skip ahead to the next boss. We do eventually down this. And I die so many times. But uh, yeah, let me skip ahead. So as we're running to this next boss, I just want to talk about how this whole event felt to me. Uh, and you can kind of see what I mean later, uh, towards the end of this video, but on my server, which is Haro, which is again an RP PvP server, there are so many Defiant. The Guardians are outnumbered by such a massive amount, and I never realized that. Uh, sure, when I'm questing, I see Defiant, and of course I see Guardians, so I thought, hey, it's probably about even. You get to level 50, there are so many Defiant, and... I never realized that. So going into this event, I didn't know if we could take anything. I didn't know if the Guardians would even stand a chance at getting credit for any of this event. Just because if the Defiant wanted to, they could steamroll us in every zone and we wouldn't be able to hold it off. I mean, we're so we're stretched so thin during this event that it, I I mean, they could have just run over us. Let I'm I'm going to be honest, they could have easily done that. Uh, if you ever go to Stillmore during prime time, I might show you guys a video of that so sometime. There's just raids of Defiant walking around killing people. It's stupid. Uh, <laughs> but, okay, this is Mistress uh, Skinobar, I think, uh, from the Foul Cascade. I understand her mechanics, but I still die a lot. Uh, apparently they added some additional mechanics, because all she did in Foul Cascade was teleport around a lot, and you can see that teleport there. And uh, apparently she has some AoE attack now that was fucking me up. But eventually we down this boss too, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, skip forward to the third boss in this zone. Which was the shadow of a werewolf, or something to that effect. So, apparently, within two days, I've totally forgotten what the last boss was. I almost swear I remember reading that it had to be a werewolf. 
but that's certainly not a werewolf. It's some kind of construct, some undead golem thing. And um, basically, the Defiant beat us here, and you can see a lot of the Guardians showing up now. And I believe in this zone, they had uh, probably two to three raids the Defiant had, and we had one and a half, so they certainly have numbers. And I didn't want to run in there too, too early, because basically the way PvP works on this server, if if the Guardians or the Defiant have obviously more, like let's say there's a raid of Defiant there and I show up by myself, uh, obviously I, they're going to kill me just because that's easy. But as long as there's about equal number of Guardians as there is Defiant, uh, usually we work together pretty well when killing a boss. And once the boss dies, uh, basically it's, a, it's an all out free for all usually. And this boss dies pretty quick, and I didn't actually die too much. I think I died originally because I showed up. I was like one of the first people here and uh, got killed by something. Again, I don't understand any of these mechanics. Like, I just die out of nowhere. Uh, my gear certainly isn't that great. I'm a fresh level 50, but uh, this boss goes down pretty fast. Like, not much trouble at all. And there are so many people here that you can see in a second that I can't even load all of them in. I was trying to run around there for a little bit just to show uh, how many people were here. And as I run around a little more, uh, I don't know if you can see it yet, people just start showing up as like heads and legs and yeah, they're starting to show up now. And uh, that's simply because there's so many Defiant on my screen trying to be loaded in that um, they're not being fully loaded. And I have a phenomenal computer and just not showing up at all. I think that's pretty funny. But uh, after we killed that boss, pretty much everyone ran over to the Particulum, which is the teleporter, and uh, all out chaos started. Just everyone cleaving. And you can see here, I'm cleaving everyone as they walk by, just because I'm trying to get in some free hits like a dick. Just because I don't think anyone's going to stop to attack me. And um, dismounting some Defiant as they go along. Look how many Defiant there are though compared to these Guardians. It's ridiculous how outnumbered we are. And I never realized that. But at the particular, let me cut to that really fast. So at the Particulum, the Guardians uh, pretty much got steamrolled. Uh, the Defiant decided that they did not want to let us leave to go finish the event. And as I was running back from one of my deaths, the event changed to Phase 3. So I decided, okay, I have to get the fuck out of here. And Phase 3 was to go to Stillmore, where the River of Souls was opening. And you have to be there when the event starts. And I'm almost back to my corpse now, and I know I have to leave. So I decided, okay, I'm going to run in there and fear. Uh, my fear should buy me enough time to click on the teleporter and get the fuck out of here. And you can see the guard, uh, the defiant, excuse me, just AOEing like crazy. So there's my fear any second, I think. Uh, you should see them running around like crazy. Uh, there it is. There's my fear. And... I decided, okay, I need to get out of here right now. But the particular guy was not loading. I could not find him, so I just clicked on the first dot that I could click on uh, once he loaded in and went back to Sanctum for half a second. But eventually, I worked my way over to Stillmore and started running with all of the Guardians. So up to this point, we had all been spread out in every zone. There were, as I've been saying this whole video, there were raids of level 50s in each zone, and there were 11 zones. And right now, we're all merging on the same point. All of our server population, everyone that can get to Stillmore is getting to Stillmore. And Stillmore is considered the level 50 zone, so pretty much anyone level 45 and up is here. And you get here, and there are so many people that I can't even, like, fathom it. And we were all trying to be organized for a little bit and get the Guardians on the left-hand side and the Defiant on the right-hand side. Because we are on an RP server, we were uh, originally trying to show some level of respect for the other side uh, as a group. Uh, typically, the Guardians do that, I think, just because we would lose a normal fight. But luckily... 
Uh, we managed to hold our ground pretty good. Uh, a few Defiant would come over and attack us, and I'll show a little bit of, of the PvP here in just a second. But they would come over and attack us, and we could hold it off for the most part, although they did push us back all the way to the left here. And, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, at least Tryon thought about this, and they added in a respawn that was extremely close. Seriously, like two or three steps away from this area. So good on them for that. I really appreciated that because I did die a few times in all of this mess. Cleave. Keep cleaving. It's my plan of attack for the next however long this takes. I'm just gonna cleave everywhere. I think she was entered a portal. It hasn't opened yet. I can't even see what I'm attacking. Like, there's so many people here. So after a few more minutes of all this crazy PvP, eventually the the main event chick came out of the River of Souls, which is the new raid that they just added. That's what this whole event was leading up to, these whole three weeks of the event. Uh, she eventually came out of the portal and everyone just stopped fighting. Uh, no one cared about fighting anymore. The event was going on and they wanted to pay attention to that. So as you can see, I'm standing right in the middle of all of these defiant right now there's I guarantee you there's a lot more there I just can't load them in and there's some crazy RP event going on as far as NPCs go they're all talking about story related stuff that I don't really know uh, much about but if you look at my chat log throughout all this it's just going crazy and everyone's kneeling down and I didn't understand why just ev everything is going crazy and uh, I asked Wolf, hey Wolf, why are so many people kneeling down? And he said it was just because they were trying to be obnoxious. But actually there was an achievement to kneel down in front of this main event chick that came out of the portal, which leads into the River of Souls. So of course, me being me, the master of the achievement guides, I decided to kneel down and get my achievement. And of course I'm getting all of my legacy achievements too, uh, which are just achievements that you get for playing the game during... Um, uh, unique times like this River of Souls event has specific achievements that you'll never be able to get again after the River of Souls event. And then uh, we started fighting her. I actually don't remember doing that. She must run away pretty quick. But uh, she retreats into the River of Souls and then we follow her in and I'll give you a quick glimpse of what I can see in the River of Souls. So I'm going to talk as fast as I can throughout this last clip. This is inside the River of Souls, and unfortunately I died as I walked in because of the PvP that erupted uh, right after the boss retreated. And I'm the only one in, in the raid that walked over to the right here, so I was being adventurous because I wanted to see a little bit of the River of Souls. Uh, I knew I wouldn't actually be able to kill any of it because my gear's not that good. Again, I'm a fresh level 50. But just looking around, and I'm quite impressed with it. I can't wait to come in here and start raiding. And I thoroughly enjoyed this entire event that Tryon put on. I mean, really enjoyed it. Unlike anything I've ever done in an MMO. Really brought the whole server together as a whole, Defiant and Guardians alike. So I want to thank everyone that has watched this video. This is my take on what happened in the River of Souls. And the whole thing I recorded lasted about an hour. So... Uh, I, I tried to cut this down as much as I could. So again, thank you all for watching. If you like this, please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. I do a lot of Rift videos, as some of you may have noticed, and I'm coming up very close to my 15-minute mark, so I'm going to have to go ahead and say goodbye here.